knock, knock, knock. Hey, how you doing, Ontario buddy, old pal? <laughs> Do I know you? Ah, come on, it's me, it's Charlie. Remember, I used to be the janitor here a few years back. Yeah, well, I got fired on account of a relationship. I was having the juggalo child, you know. That's not the point. The point is, though, I got my old job back. I'm ready to have new relationships with the children. And in case you're wondering how I got in the building, that's how. Oh. Right. And if memory serves, you usually take your lunch break about now. So how about you pop on out, eat some lunch, and I'll clean up your office. Oh, uh, I ate already. Did you? Lunch is at noon. It's 12.30. You know what happened, though, Terry, was I got a little held up on account of it being D-Day and all. It's not D-Day. You know what? Actually, Terry, I should tell you this. Um, I saw some kids breaking into your car outside. I ride a bike. Yeah, that's what I meant. They were breaking on in your bicycle, kicked it in half, filled it with horse manure. Kind of a prank, I guess. Yeah, I don't believe you. Well, only one way to find out. Better pop outside and take a peek. My bike is fine. One step ahead of me, aren't you, Terry? <laughs> okay, you know what happened? D-Day just threw everything off, okay? So I'm just gonna slide on in here. Maybe I'm gonna make a little phone call, no big deal, and uh, I'm not gonna make a phone call. Just have some candy then, and I'm not gonna have any candy. That's candies for the kids. Terry, this has been an unfortunate, uh, hey, can I use your phone and pretend to be you? Okay, that's strike three on my account. Uh, I'm gonna fuck your bike up, Terry. Mm -hmm.